Please hang up and try again. Welcome to my second tutorial on how to use global variables in OpenTX transmitters. Today I'm going to use a test case. We're going to try and emulate a rudder elevator aircraft. Um, and this is pretty easy. Um, we use the mixes and we just mix roll. So we try here. Yeah, what have I done? No, beg my pardon. We we'll cut that bit out. <laughs> All right. So we add this. We add some yaw to this. Um, and we use, we're going to use a global variable in here, which is going to change how much weight we add with the yaw stick. Next thing we need to do is go over here and create a custom input. And I'm going to call a custom input GV1 because that makes it easy. This is going to be the input from uh, pot 1. And this is going to be influenced by curve 3. And curve 3 is a straight line from 0 to 100. So instead of the output being from minus 100 to 100, now the output from the pot is 0 to 100, which is what we would prefer. It could be very confusing the other way around. So we go over here now, and instead of taking the, the raw output from pot 1, we take this new modified output from pot 1, and that should work. And here we go. Let's have a look at it. should be 50%. It's 50%. So that's the output from that pot. If we vary this, as you can see, it varies the value of global variable 1. And if you go back to here and you have a look at channel 1, which is the roll channel, we can see that it influences the roll channel. We can turn it off by just taking around to 0 or thereabouts. That's close enough to 0. Whoops. There we go. And now nothing which is pretty much what you want in the air you want to be able to turn it off you can turn it off with a switch but turning it off with a pot or varying it with a pot is much friendlier you'll be able to get it just right all right i hope that's been useful and i'll see you soon in part three bye for now